So you watched Brad Mono's video about the whole rice water thing. I've been studying rice water all damn day. And then you were kind of upset that he never tested it in the entire video. That's what happened to me. So if that's why you're at this video right now, I'm gonna show you exactly how it works and what my hair looks like before and after I use it. I'm also gonna show you guys the easiest way to do it, which is the way I figured out how to do it. There's probably definitely other ways that you can figure out, but this is just what I've come to realize only after doing it two times now. I'll give you a lot of information about the first time I did it throughout the video. And then I'm also gonna give you a few tips about reducing, reusing, and recycling. And the way that I used it on my hair was using a syrup bottle and it worked very well. So stay tuned for that. First thing that Brad Mondo says is to get the rice and to rinse it, not once, but rinse it twice. And you rinse the rice the first time, and then the second time you're rinsing it, you scrub the rice with your hand, just move the water around in it, move it in the water, kind of squeeze it, rub it, just to get all of the possible remnants off the outside of the rice because you want it to be as clean as possible. I realized that after doing it twice, it doesn't necessarily clean it fully because the water's still dirty. So I, myself, chose to do it eight times probably because I really wanted it to be clean because that's what Brad Mondo said is the most important thing is that the rice is really clean. He also said that they weren't specific about the ratios when doing this or when telling about it. So when he did it, he wasn't really specific either. I kind of just guessed as well and made my own ratios up. So I do one cup of rice to, originally it was two cups of water, but then I just filled up this entire big old jar and it turns out to be six cups. So one cup of rice to six cups of water. Also an entire grapefruit, because that's what Brad Mondo also says. Basically all you need to do is do this. Get every grain of rice to make contact with the water and just kind of rub it off. You see how dirty that water is getting? You want to get all of the remnants that you can off. And then you're going to drain the water. I know it's really difficult because rice is so like hard to keep together, but you drain the water and then you put more clean water in and then do this some more. Really rub those rice granules so that you're getting them clean. The major tip that I have for you is when you have rice on your fingers during this and you're like freaking out because you don't know how to get it off, just go like this on the top of the water and it all comes off. This is the fifth rinse, and as you can tell, the water is still dirty on this rinse. So probably still gonna do it a few more times. The way I figured out how to do this was coffee filters. Um, it keeps all the rice in one place while still fermenting it in the jar. So then you have this coffee filter with rice in it. How the hell are you supposed to do anything with that? Well, I got some paper clips and I just make sure to start sealing the sides first. Boom, so now we've got both sides sealed. Now we wanna seal that center up. I've, I have so much experience in like manufacturing and cooking and baking and just like from any other areas in life that like I just get random ideas and just like have little tidbits of knowledge that I apply to everything. That's how I lead to things like this, making fermented rice water for my hair because of Brad Mondo and using coffee filters and paper clips and a recycled syrup bottle, which you will see later. It doesn't matter if you get any rice in the actual fermented water. This is just making the steps for cleaning cleaning up a lot easier. So we're going to put it in our jar. Now we need to add a full grapefruit peel. This is pretty simple. I've never even like cut into a grapefruit before this, but you only need the peel for this anyway. So I don't know if this knife is sharp enough. It's not. Just get the skin off as best you can. And try to add as much as you can because this rice Fermenting smells absolutely terrible. I have this beautiful jar of some rice and some grapefruit peels. That's why I ended up putting six cups of water in it because it's like the whole jar. I wanted it to all be covered, you know what I'm saying? All right. So then now, what I did last time, you see, was you can see how um, the peels floating a little bit. So I just want to push it down a little bit. So 
gonna put this plastic plate in later. Push, mush, mush and push like that. And you're not gonna get all of them. There's little floaties, but I can't talk right now, I'm sorry. <laughs> Sometimes I do an accent for no reason too. I'm not making fun of anybody. I love Southern accents. Also, why is my shirt like that? Seal it up. And you're gonna want to write the date on the top, which this jar conveniently has in the space for writing dates on the top of it. And that way you know exactly when you started the fermentation. And then you can put it into your hair a week later and Voila, you have your Brad Mondo weird ya yeah or la women, I can't remember. Um, but what they put into their hair is supposedly exactly this, except they use pomelos instead of grapefruits. The ya yeah women in China use this technique to grow their hair to extremely long length. They're actually known to have the longest hair in the world. Stay tuned for the rest of the video to see what it does to my hair and how I applied it to my hair. This bad boy is going away for seven days. a full bottle of some fermented rice water. Everything that Brad Mondo said, I did with this stuff. So I will show you guys exactly what I do and how much it changes my hair in just one wash. Okay, so before I do this, what Brad Mondo says to do is they let it sit in their hair for like 15 to 20 minutes. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this really big plastic bowl that I have and I'm gonna just kind of like sit in the bathtub with my hair in that bowl and kind of not only get it in my scalp with the syrup bottle that I'm using and get it throughout my hair, but I'm also gonna try to let it sit in the water for as long as I can, just soaking in there. So maybe it'll get even more of like the benefits. Just want you guys to look at my hair before I do this. Honestly, after just the first time I did this, and again, I only used fermented rice water, so it smelled really, really bad. It didn't have any grapefruit smell at all. The first time I did it, it changed my hair's consistency completely. Like it made it so much softer in just one wash. So this already looks pretty good compared to how it was before, but I'm going to show you guys what it looks like probably later when it dries. I'm also gonna try to show you guys the process of me doing it. That's why I'm wearing a bathing suit, so yeah. Hopefully this goes well. I have this, this big ass bowl. Let's see how I do this. Okay. Ah! This bowl full of stuff, so I'm just gonna kind of push my head into it because I still feel that there's some dryness. Go full on in like this. I don't know if you guys can see how soft it looks already, but it's crazy. My plan originally was to lay backwards, <laughs> but now I'm like stuck like this, so... Hi. I feel like it could have been better back here, but you know what I can do? I'm gonna try to suck up some of it with this bottle. Gravity, baby. bit cold. So now I'm going to, oh, I off my face. I'm going to set a timer and chill in here for like 15 minutes. So here is my hair. It is so freaking soft. I don't know if you can tell how soft it is on camera, but yeah, it's almost as if doing this is like eliminating any frizz that my hair had previously. It is so amazing. Like, I really don't know if you can see on camera how soft it is, but like, my hair used to be so bad that like, I couldn't do this. Brush through my hair with my fingers, but now I can again. And it's also like, thickening it up again, which I haven't really told this story on my channel before or really talked about it much, but I did have a friend thin out my hair for me and she literally used thinning shears without like us really talking about her doing that. I kind of just told her I wanted layers and she ended up literally thinning my entire head out. So this is not how thick my hair normally is. Like, I don't know if you can tell just how thin that amount of hair is, but that's not the normal amount of hair that you would have at the bottom. Once my roots start growing out more and my hair starts really thickening back out, 
you guys will definitely see a difference. But yeah, I hope you guys learned something from this video. I was really scared to do it because a lot of the things like Brad Mondo talks about can seem really difficult. And this one especially seemed pretty weird, especially because the first time I did it, it was disgusting. This time it turned out so freaking well. It's really not that difficult. And even if he makes it seem like it's difficult, you can do literally anything by yourself. Also, I wanted to give this message Please reduce, reuse, and recycle. It's very important to the earth, especially right now. If we all try to do our parts, even in little ways, we can start to change the world. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you made it this far because that's freaking awesome and I'm really excited to keep making YouTube videos, so I hope you liked it. Also, I wanted to say before I end this, if you're watching this, you are loved, you deserve love, and thank you so much for watching. Have a good day, good night, good evening, bye. Well, I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> um, Which is... I just want to make YouTube videos. I can't even turn my freaking light on. Oh my god. And...